We're midweek of the Pennsylvania early muzzleloader season. Got my cousin Brendan. Been a while since he's been in front of the camera, or in front of the camera. Yeah, last time you had that fist pumping one. Ended up finding out his old muzzleloader, just something was messed up. They worked on it, could not get that thing sighted in. Got a new gun, so I have the receipts. If he starts missing, we know that it's- I accidentally sent him the he's got the, sure he's got the deer fever again. Uh, but I'm gonna be bringing my uh, 50 cal flintlock here. Now, what are you using? I'm using a 50 cal CVA Wolf. Uh, 50 or 100 grains of powder, two pellets. I'm not sure the grain weight on the um, Sabbath slug in there, but that's what I'll be using. I'll be using a TVM 50 caliber <clears throat> uh, round ball only gun. It's a 166 twist square bottom rifling with a 490 pillow ticking uh, patched around ball. And I'm gonna get this started. I'll be taking it out, but he's gonna be shooting first. I'm just gonna back up in case them deer just don't know what happened and they're just standing there around. I'll be finishing, taking a crack at one that if he can't <clears throat> get loaded in time. I'm using also, uh, I'm using 75 grains of 2F Go X black powder. And then I like to use 4F in my pan, some guys can use 3F, uh, whatever works best in your gun. So we're going to take a walk up around the cabin here. Uh, when Joe and those guys were here, deer were running all through the slashings and stuff. It's almost impossible to go into that slashing and try to shoot a deer, and it's hard with these two guys to bump them out. We're just going to take a walk around the woods, see if there's anything out standing in this middle of the day eating acorns or something. If not, his dad and a bunch of guys are gonna be coming down here around the camp. We're gonna go on the other side, walk around a little bit, and then get up in one of the shanties towards evening and then uh, just see what happens. So this will probably be the only day we get to hunt together. And then he'll be out till Saturday trying to shoot doe. And then he'll be up in rifle season for uh, the Pennsylvania rifle season to try to shoot a buck. Uh, so. Top mine from 2022. Yeah. Oh, and tell them what happened at the airport. So he just flew up from Florida. So flew up last yesterday and we get in a little tram to go in between where the flights land and stuff to go to the rental car. I'm holding on the bar and walks in. I'm looking at it and going, man, this guy looks pretty famous. Not dawn on me who it is. Grabs the bar right beside me. I rode the tram right beside Jerome Bettis and Dan Mullen on the way here. <laughs> so I didn't get no pictures because I'm not that kind of person. I'm like, hey, let me get a picture. But I knew, yeah. I, I personally know that was them. Yeah. And, and confirmation and, from all the people getting off the tram, going up and shaking their hands and stuff. So. Yeah. And then, and then our cousin Doug says, you oh, yeah. did not see him and goes and takes a picture with a Frank O'Hara statue in there and said, here, I got my picture of Jerome Bettis. <laughs> That's what he thinks that you saw. <laughs> All right, so off to the hunt. sending Brennan up here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a one-man drive and circle through this slashing here and see if I can get something bumped up to him. I didn't even start the drive. I just crossed the creek where we just came from. I didn't even get a hundred yards away from him and he just shot. So I'm coming back. All right, so he came up through here, got to this tree, saw a big body up here, looked, didn't see, said it was big. So I looked around, I'm like, that's a big doe. I pulled the trigger and smoke everywhere, and I seen some legs kicking on the ground and it hasn't moved since. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Wearing, huh? I still can't see it. Oh, I see the body. I just see the belly. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Nice. Got a good shot on it too. Look yeah, you that. did. Congrats, man. Thanks. Yeah. One done awesome. tag down, got one more to fill. Yeah, we can still go for another one tonight. Not bad, a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you punched it good. Good little dough. I don't think that's a button buck, yeah. that's a dough. There was all They're eating together. good. <laughs> I mean, that looks like a pretty good size fawn. Technically not a yearling. I'd say that one was born this year, but I mean, they're getting, they're packing the weight on them. Yeah. We got a bumper acorn crop, bumper apple crop. I mean, the corn, soybean everywhere. These deer don't take long to put the weight on even though we're overrun with deer. So. That's about a 45 yeah. hook, free hand. I, I thought, I just crossed the creek. I'm like, are you kidding me? Your you, gun, you, you shot it already? Down? Huh? Say it down, I yelled, it's down. No, I couldn't hear uh, you. I, well, I, that's what I was kind of questioning because I was waiting to hear, yee ho! Well, there was, like I said, after But I then I thought, it. well, maybe he's got a second tag. That's, that's exactly what I was <laughs> And he's not gonna holler, yee haw if he's got a second tag. after I shot that one, three more jumped up. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna reload. Well. You guys know my nickname. <laughs> it's hard to reload a muzzle when we got the shake. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna yell it down and have Johnny come up. Awesome. All right, let's get some pictures here. There you go. 2024 deer number one. Still got another tag for a doe. Yep. And then you still got your buck tag for when uh, tag rifle too. season comes in. That's it. Awesome. 40 yard shot dropped her right in the tracks. And we still have the rest of the evening and the afternoon yet to hunt. Middle of the day. Were they just standing, you think? Yeah. When I, like I said, when I came around that corner, that one bump, and this one was standing broadside looking that way. And then, like I said, I checked, made sure it was a good doe. Pow, yep. Dropped there. And when the smoke cleared, there's three more running up the hill. Yep. Awesome. So that's why I tried to reload, but again, <laughs> the shakes overtook me. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Ready for number two. That's it. Going. I think it just hit. Yeah, right there. there we go. Get a big old man. Yeah, man. Nice. Now, were you recording? I was. This is REC at the top. <laughs> now. That was the coolest thing, that thing. I thought it was going to run us over. I need everybody, when they watch this part of the video, take your bow nine or dram mean, because it gets a shaky. <laughs> I'll have to do heavy stabilization on this. Well, Thanks, that, man. That Thanks, thing, man. No problem. Uh, that, I, I thought mean, it was going to run right to us. It, it started running right up the trail to us. I'm like, oh, man, this is going to be awesome. I'm like, I'm offhand. I'm like, I kneeled down and, and like, I'm like, I can't sit here because I can't. I mean, it looks level, but when I got down on my knee, like, I could just see the back. Oh, I'm really? Like, I'm going to have to just stand. And what in the world was it running to us for? I don't know. It was coming right to us. I'm, I really started shaking when it did that. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I'm about to reach out and pet it when it comes by. There's no way I'm going to shoot from the hip and it's going to run into you. So that's two down in less than that's 35 awesome. minutes. Yeah. Well, let's go check All it out. Right, let's go check it out. We may have to go get the John Deere Gator and go get this thing out of here. I found it. it was cording towards me, so I mean, it wasn't the best shot, but. Uh, that was the only shot it was gonna give me. Pretty good buck scrape right here. Get underneath here and see what happened. Maybe it was my hat. That a doe too, yep. Another fawn. That's okay. I'm happy. That is awesome. I have no idea. Let's see, 
Is that the hole? That no. Be. That's a tick, I think. One. Boy, it ran right into this. That one I shot up there in the well, food plot. Well, I'll get a tag on it first, but. That one I shot up there in the food plot did that same thing. Yeah. At my first bow kill. Oh, okay. Remember? Yeah. We, yeah. We walked by it a couple of times, did the yeah. same thing, laid up on our wall. Some of how they get like that and then can't find them, but. There's my 2024 deer number one. I have six doe tags. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to start laying them out. Uh, what a crazy hunt. I mean, just happened to be walking through the woods, the acorns are dropping. It just sounds like it's raining in the woods. I mean, some of these are dangerous. You gotta watch they don't knock you on the head. They're gonna leave a little bump on your head too if they hit you. And I said, we might just catch him eating because he walked up on him eating and the, lot, the, the woods is noisy, it's sunny. You wouldn't think it's a good day for hunting. It's somewhat warm. But these deer in the woods on their feet eating acorns. The bucks are sort of chasing does right now a little bit, the younger ones. And just happened to come out, see that deer on the tram road come up, start eating some acorns, and then for some reason started running towards us. <laughs> it just happened, he got the camera, and right there you could see the hole punched her right in the shoulder. Uh, surprised it even ran that far, you know, but uh, the 50 cal T TVM did the job, and we still got more hunting yet to do. So here we go. Zoom in. We just got done gutting my deer, and he just saw a buck. Yeah, I don't I can't tell how big it was. It's standing there. I see its nose through the bushes. It's looking at us. I can't see nothing. I just see a face, like the nose. Yeah, it's a little buck. Yeah. See it. There he is. He's running. He's heading up to the left there. Yeah, he's running out along. He's gonna run up there later on. Okay. Be ready. We could, I mean, these deer are on their feet, even in the middle of the day. We just busted the doe. Wonder if they, he chased her up there. He's probably chasing her. He's up probably there. chasing the deer while we were gutting that deer. Yeah, we just there, like. yeah, she must have crossed the road. We just left from gutting my deer. We got to go back and get the gator. Probably the eighth one that we've passed. These buck scrapes are just layering on this road out here. We decided that we're gonna let. Uh, Brendan's dad and some of the guys that came up from Florida, they're gonna get into deer shanties. We might hit the ladder stand that Joe and I were in. And then, uh, you know, if need, need be, we can get out and sneak up on some deer up there on the hill. Uh, just try to get most of these doe whacked off. I mean, yeah, we're seeing lots of bucks, but I'm telling you, our doe to buck ratio is like still 10 doe to one buck. I got rubber boots on this year, I ain't swimming. <laughs> Oh, a good thing I was recording too, because if you would have fell, I would have got that on camera right after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you retrieve deer. That's right, no dragon. We got the industrial version John Deere Gator six wheel drive. Oh, see. You gotta have that horsepower and this diesel engine to pull out the deer back here. Ooh, especially the ones we got today. <laughs> that thing through the ringer. How we do it? So 
filling up the gator bed deer. That's a nice one. Yeah. Too. He's just a big Y on the one end. Yeah, Y of the brow time. Bah. There's a doe. Is there a doe somewhere? There's a doe. Where? Right there. He's watching oh, a doe. Oh, yeah, I see it. She's standing there. He's watching her. See if I can get some video of her. Get in there. She's about to go down across the creek, it looks like. Yeah. See? He's just a Y on one end. With a brow tone. Looks really nice. Watching or see where that doe goes. This is Rut. Yep, she's down there along the creek. All right, I'm out from that angle. Nice buck.
I'd say she's pretty fine. Yeah, I didn't even see her flinch or nothing. No. There was a pretty good hang fire on that one. A little bit longer of a delay than I'm used to, and man, it it, it felt good, but clean mess. It's still standing out there, but hey, now I don't have to shoot my gun off because I need to clean it anyway. So yeah, that was. I'm kind of. I'm already shaking because I'm freezing because it's cold out. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm like, I want to shoot this gun off. I really don't want to go down to camp. I'm like, I might as well take a shot. I don't care. <clears throat> well, that's pretty much the end of it because these bugs would have these big doe out here and he's waiting for a bigger one. So he's not even going to take a shot at that one. He wants a little bit more meat for a second tag. So the guys in the other shanties sound like they're doing some shooting. So we're going to go see what they got. Pretty good day, huh? Oh, yeah. We doubled Seen up today. everything. Got to see bucks. Leave a buck right there. Ten yards. Watch, we're going to get killed by acorns. <laughs> that like golf ball I know. <laughs> we're walking back. It's kind of in the dark, but there's the shanty. And uh, there's a big plot of blood and a trail <laughs> going down through the woods. And uh, then the rest of the week, they got uh, junior hunters with rifles are in today, too. So... They can be out shooting a doe. We're gonna go down here and see what's going on. You couldn't pass her. Big mommy deer. Whoa. <laughs> hey, that gun's not off either. Just need to clean real good. Yeah. Cause that's exactly where I was aiming. No kidding. If you just want to take that down, we'll drag her. Hey, get, let me get a picture of you here behind okay. it. The deer shanty is just literally what? 50 yards? 50 yards? It's 47. 47 yards? I ranged it. You have your light? Come over here and we'll get a bunch of light and I'll get a picture here. Yeah. Well, there. You, unless you got a light on your phone. Oh, yeah, that'll work. All right. Bobby. Yeah, big doe. So we're whacking the doe. Those guys, Floridians, were whacking the dough. Good. He's just all around big. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. All right, those guys are going to get the deer. And I got a long walk through the woods to get back to my truck. eating a quick meal before I head back home, eating some steak and rice. The guys from Florida, they're going to be hunting down here around the camp for the next three day, uh, next two days, really. Uh, today's Thursday, so there's Friday and Saturday. During this season, we can also shoot a bear with a muzzleloader. Youth can shoot doe, and this early muzzleloader season is doe only. And, you know, we get a lot of people who go, why are you shooting little deer? Why do you shoot the small? Why do you shoot the fawns? You know, why don't you shoot the big deer? Listen, it gets to the point where there's really no legal way to shoot an antlerless deer, according to the internet. <laughs> you know, you shoot a big one, people say, well, that doe had fawns, when they really don't know that the fawns by this time, when they lose their spots, they're old enough to survive on their own. And if you take them early, then you're obviously shooting a, preg uh, a non-pregnant doe. If we wait next week, even two weeks, 50% or more of all these big doe are going to be bred. So there is a very short window to actually take uh, a doe, and that's as early as possible if you don't want to take a doe that is pregnant. Uh, the other thing is here we're hunting in Clarence County 2D, and we're just overrun with deer. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of bucks, but I'm telling you, those doe are out there. There's a lot of them. Try to take as many doe, no matter what, antlerless uh, you know you can try to not take the button bucks but hey at, at this point when you're when you have so many deer you're not really hurting the population um we have a terrible forest regeneration um and a terrible tick population i already had one on me today and i had to pull it off while i was in the tree stand with brendan uh, the floridians i think they're up to nine deer already uh i mean they said that they went out spotting and by nine o'clock they saw 145 deer and they just did a short jot around the, around the area. 
<clears throat> I saw 25 deer in one field. So yeah, there's deer in Pennsylvania in some places. So God has blessed us tremendously, whether we get deer or not, just to live in this part. Um, it is a true blessing uh, to live here, to hunt here. Uh, but there definitely needs to be management. Stay tuned. I'm sure we're going to have more videos. I'm going to try to get out in archery season. I don't know. Hopefully we get more footage for you. Well, just to recap what the Florida guys did, Brendan, the very next day, was headed to my rifle stand. I told them, you guys have free reign. Go sit in the shanty, shoot some deer. And he didn't even make it to the deer shanty. Deer were running everywhere. This big cow of a doe stepped out, made an awesome shot, dropped her. And uh, so he filled both his doe tags, got a lot of meat to take home. The guys did really well on our property and on my cousin's property. They hunted both properties. They took a total, I think, 16 deer during that week of the early muzzleloader season. Now, they, some of them were also taken with crossbows too. They had the youth hunter on the last three days of the season. The youth could shoot a doe with a rifle. And uh, we're just gonna call him Slayer because it was a lot of hunting, but he ended up connected for both of his deer, the first and second deer he ever shot. And so it was a great time in the woods for those guys. Uh, they really enjoyed being up here, uh, seeing lots of deer, shooting lots of deer. And then they had a treat the last day. One of the guys saw the big bear that are probably from the bear tracks that me and Joe saw. They saw it out of the deer shanty that Joseph shot his big doe out of from the last previous video. So really cool. That bear would have been in season um, if those guys would have had a bear tag, but they didn't have one. But uh, just really cool. There's still bear round for bear season. So that is the end of the Pennsylvania early muzzleloader season for us. Hope you enjoyed it.